This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Oxford GP Chain Lock. This is advertised as a multi-purpose product, but most buyers are probably going to use this as a bicycle lock. It's a fully integrated package with a 1.5 meter long hardened steel chain with 8 millimeter links, as well as a locking mechanism for securing it. Underneath this plastic, the lock itself appears to be solid steel with a non-shimmable latch and a disc detainer core. We also have a nice nylon sleeve over the entire chain to make sure we don't scratch whatever we lock up. Now one note about this lock. There is no way that I've found to non-destructively remove this plastic or the nylon sleeve which appears to be wired in place under the plastic on both ends. And because of that, I've not yet examined this for design flaws because I'd have to destroy the lock to do it. But from what I can see without destroying the lock, it does appear to be a competent product. In any case, let's see what it takes to pick into this. We open up this dust cover and our first job is going to be to rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. And then I'm going to counter rotate the top disc to make sure I have a nice ledge to sit my pick on. That makes sure I don't accidentally insert it too far. I'm going to be using this cheap Chinese disc detainer pick. And let's get that in place, tensioning disc one. And I think I have it where I want it. Okay, we're tensioning off of one, so let's find number two. Okay, I might have gotten something out of two. Little click on three. Not sure about four. Nice click out of five. Nothing on six or seven. Back to the beginning. Okay, nothing on two. Click on three. Nothing on four. Five, six, or seven. Back to the beginning. Okay, I think we have two where it belongs. Same for three. Not sure about four, but we might have him in place. Nothing on five, six, or seven. Okay, I'm not really feeling a whole lot out of here, so I'm increasing the tension just a little bit. Two feels set. So does three. Four feels set. So does five. Little click on six. Nothing on seven. I think we just opened this up. There we go. Okay, this gave me a little bit of trouble. For lack of a better term, this lock feels a little bit mushy on the inside. None of the clicks are distinct, and frankly, it was a little bit hard to tell if I had the discs set. I don't know if that's just a sign of poor quality or soft materials, or there's some sort of anti-pick feature in, in place here, but it certainly was a little bit harder to open than many other similar locks. In any case, that's all I have for you on this Oxford GP chain lock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.